Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, and I'm an oculoplastic and orbit specialist in Beverly Hills, California. And today I'm here with Dr. Pejman Kohan, who's an endocrinologist here in Beverly Hills, California, answering some questions about treatment of Graves' disease. And Dr. Cohen is an expert in endocrinology, where most of these patients almost exclusively have endocrinology abnormalities. And so what I'd like to, many of our patients ask is, what is the typical course and potential treatment for Graves' disease? So Graves' disease is generally treated medically, that is with, with medications. These are medicines that slow down the overproduction of thyroid hormone, which is the hallmark of Graves' disease. Although some endocrinologists use other treatment modalities like radioactive iodine or sometimes surgery, I think generally most experts agree that if it's safe to use a medication, particularly in a younger patient, that using a medication would be preferred. Mm -hmm. And the, the the main reason for that is that because Graves is an autoimmune disease, it can go into remission. And if you can sort of bridge that time with the medication, with an antithyroid medication, and wait for a year, a year and a half for the disease to go into remission, then the patient can really have a great outcome where they can come off of medications and continue to have normal thyroid function. So my preferred treatment approaches to use medications. These are antithyroid medications to the extent possible. Now sometimes there may be a contraindication or other compelling reasons to use the other treatment methods, uh, but, but in my practice I offer that as a initial first-line treatment. Okay. What are some of the side effects of the medications that some people might notice? We have two medications for hyperthyroidism due to Graves' disease. One of them is called metimizol, mm -hmm. and the other one has a long name called propylthiouracil, and we abbreviate that as PTU. These medications are very similar to each other. They have minor differences. Uh, the main side effects uh, for this class of drugs is allergic reaction, which is usually manifested by a rash, itchy rash on the skin. Sometimes these medications can alter liver function and irritate the liver, and in a rarer percentage of the time, it can suppress the bone marrow mm -hmm. and result in a condition called agranulocytosis, which is a big fancy name for the bone marrow not producing the immune cells, like white blood cells and red blood cells and platelets. Okay. Um, from my standpoint, Graves' disease it can occasionally affect the eyes, and, and I like to wait until all the management of their thyroid is complete and patients are stable for a long period of time before even thinking about trying to reverse some of the effects that it's had upon the eyes. And I know that we often work together, and it's really important that patients do work with their ophthalmologist if they have eye disease, but most you know, importantly, very closely with their endocrinologist, asking them questions about these medications and different treatments. And we'll be discussing more about Graves' disease in upcoming segments.